Okay, so I wanted to do a demonstration. What I have here is one of the Lynx Joule amps. This is a single transistor. And I've got an amp meter and a 12 volt battery. And we're going to watch the um, amp meter. So there's just two bulbs. We're pulling 668 milliamps. And I'm going to start to add some bulbs. There's another bulb. 870, 880 milliamps. There's a fourth bulb. Okay, I'm going to plug in four more bulbs. Pull in 1.35 amps. I'm going to plug in four more bulbs. Get this one going. There we go. Okay, we are pulling 1.7 amps to light all 12 bulbs. Okay, that's on the small, smaller Lynx Joule amp. Um, and it's running off 12 volts. So this is under, this is uh, about 21 watts to light all these bulbs. And you can you can switch these bulbs just like you normally would. I have them on a single switch right now. Just shut them all off. Turn them on. But, you know, in individual rooms you could have these on a switch. It's pulling zero amps when the switch is off. Okay, this is the larger um, LGL circuit. Um, this one is capable of 150 watts. Right now we're pulling about 1.7 amps to light all 12 of these bulbs and it's it's very similar um, it's a two transistor there's just eight bulbs we're pulling 1.4 now we're just pulling uh, one amp to light four bulbs there is a high setting I'll show you that High setting, we're pulling two amps. Pulling 2.6 amps for eight bulbs. We're pulling three amps, so 36 watts to light all 12 of those bulbs. Or we can switch it down to. Um, the lower setting if we want. So you can choose between you know kind of a, a dim setting or a really high setting. And if we want we can put in a fluorescent. Fluorescents take a little bit of time to heat up. That'll heat up and get brighter. We're pulling 3.3 amps. And that's the, the larger LJL. And you can shut this off just the same as, as I showed you before. Just turn it off. Turn it back on, just like a light switch. So with that fluorescent added, we're pulling 3.3.5 amps. So the fluorescent definitely um, will pull more power because it gets hot. I'm going to put one incandescent in just to show you. Incandescent bulbs are basically like little toasters. They put out more heat than light. So I'm going to take this 40 watt light bulb, put it in here. I'll show you what the amps do. 
there's the incandescent and all our LEDs got dimmer we're pulling almost 3.8 amps so incandescent will run but it's already hot um, this is basically like a little heater ouch um, so you kind of want to avoid incandescents, they're just a waste. LEDs are the best, because they don't put out heat. So all the power is going to uh, light. We're back down to 3 amps. 36 watts to light the 12 bulbs on high. Go back to the medium setting. And we're at 1.7 about for all those bulbs. So if you can get a solar panel that puts uh, 20 watts on average, um, you could run these bulbs all day long. Of course, if you ran these, you know, half a day, you'd only need to put in half as much power from solar panels. You know, this is a nice, efficient way to uh, light a small small cottage or several rooms in a house and I thank you for watching